The Institute of Medicine said this, studies designed to examine the long-term effects of the cumulative number of vaccines or other aspects of the immunization schedule have not been conducted. In existing research has not been designed to test the entire immunization schedule. No studies have ever compared the difference in health outcomes between entirely unimmunized populations of children and fully immunized children. Here it comes. I want to show you the video that the World Health Organization put out four days before hosting the Vaccine Safety Summit. Take a look at what, once again, they wanted to tell the world outside of this room. Take a look at this. Vaccines are very safe. If someone gets sick after vaccination, it is usually either a coincidence an error in administering the vaccine or very rarely a problem with the vaccine itself. That's why we have vaccine safety systems. Robust vaccine safety systems allow health workers and experts to react immediately to any problems that may arise. They can examine the problem rigorously and scientifically look at the data and then promptly address the problem. WHO works closely with countries to make sure that vaccines can do what they do best, prevent disease without risks. New vaccines against malaria, meningitis and encephalitis in Asia and Africa are now being thoroughly monitored with support from WHO. Vaccines are one of the safest tools we have to prevent disease and ensure a healthy future for all children. All right. Obviously, four days before this event, that's, we, you could maybe argue, that's what the World Health Organization believed was true before they put all these scientists in a room. Maybe they never, ever talked to each other. Or this answers, I'm about to answer one of the biggest questions I've always had. And I get asked is, do they know or are they just being manipulated? Remember, so this is Dr. Sumya Swaminathan, MD. She is none other than the chief scientist at the World Health Organization, a pediatrician. They brought their number one person and put her in front of a camera. And so you could ask yourself, are they just not showing her the data? Does she not understand it? Are they lying to her and putting her in front of this camera and, and she's just clueless? What would she say four days after putting out statements like, we have a just, you, you have to trust vaccines. It's one of the safest ways we can make you healthy here in India. And that even if there is an issue, you should know we have a robust vaccine safety surveillance program in place. So if there's any issue, we catch it right away and we're able to make the changes so that we can ensure to you that all these new vaccines we're telling you you need, that they are perfectly safe. Because as she ends it, everything's monitored by the World Health Organization and vaccines are one of the safest things, best studied products we have for your health. What did she say four days later at this event? If you have food in your mouth, swallow it now. Because this is the whole kit and caboodle. I think we cannot overemphasize the fact that, that we really don't have very good safety uh, monitoring systems in many countries. And this adds to the miscommunication and the misapprehensions because we're not able to give clear-cut answers when people ask questions about the deaths that have occurred due to particular vaccine, and this always gets blown up in the media, uh, one should be able to give uh, a, a very factual account of what exactly has happened and what the cause of deaths are. But in most cases, there's some obfuscation at that level, and, and therefore there's uh, less and less trust then in, in, in the system. Putting in place the mechanisms, whether they're cohort studies or whether they're sentinel surveillance sites, to be able to, uh, to monitor uh, what's going on and report back and then for corrective action to be taken because unexpected things could arise uh, after introduction and one always has to be prepared as we've seen you know in the history of many drugs you've uh, you've heard about i mean learned about adverse events only after the drugs been licensed and introduced into the population 
So I think that, that risk is all, all, always there and the population needs to understand that and, and feel confident that mechanisms are being put in place to, to study uh, some of those things. You know, we have a great legal team and they say to me, Dell, you gotta be careful where the world word lying. Can't really say people are lying. Uh, if you're out there watching, am I allowed to say that this woman is lying? Can we say it? I mean, am I allowed to? She just ended by saying, we know that there's adverse events, that we don't have the tracking system. She starts out by saying, we all have to admit here that we don't have any surveillance systems for safety really in place in most of these countries. And we know that people are gonna be injured. And she even says, we have to be honest with the people that there are going to be injuries, that that is a part of this process as we go forward. Four days after she just did a video saying, it's the safest thing we do, you should absolutely believe in it. This stands in history as the proof that they are lying.